Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. I'm over at the website for the University of Nottingham, and researchers there have found a way to turn cigarette butts, or used cigarette filters, into a material that's used for hydrogen storage. So hydrogen is a gas, and you'd like to use a porous materials to help increase storage capacity. So they turn this into sort of like a charcoal. They call it hydrochar in a hydrothermal carbonization process. Basically, they use heat and water to turn these uh, cigarette butts, which are mostly cellulose acetate, that doesn't break down, you know, it doesn't decompose, and it usually contains all sorts of harmful heavy metals from the cigarette smoke. So it takes these and turns them into a hydrochar that can be used to store a lot of hydrogen. Hydrogen, of course, is a flammable gas that can be obtained sustainably in a couple of different ways. But the problem is the storage of it. Both uh, storing for vehicles, we can run cars on hydrogen, and, or either through burning it in an internal combustion engine or putting it through a hydrogen fuel cell. But we still need a way to safely pressurize, store, and transport this hydrogen. And this material, this new hydrochar, could be the answer. Now, I know what you're thinking. There can't possibly be that many cigarette butts out there. But according to this study, there are 800,000 metric tons of cigarette butts that are generated every year. Now, of course, we can't go picking through landfills for all of these, but there are a lot of places that congregate cigarette butts. I'm thinking outside uh, movie theaters or other public places. Well, you know what? Maybe there's a way to start selling these. Maybe people, well, there's a lot of people in America and throughout the world whose entire job it is to gather scrap metal. Maybe people will find other materials uh, like HDPE, you know, plastics and cigarette butts and other things that they can sell to make a living. Of course, that might not be the answer to all our world's problems, but it is a start. I will link to this page in the description if you want to read more about it. And if you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.